What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on the Let's Play Tom Hall 9 account, the brand new one, Rocky 3. And as you guys can see here, we're doing pretty good on it. We got a lot of stuff uh, kind of going up. We got the army camps maxed up, we got a few traps maxed out, uh, we got the clan castle up, so we have all of this stuff to do but the main point of today's episode is we're going to be dropping the expos guys and I, I know some of you guys are going to be like oh my god why are you dropping the expos already war weight that's going to add so much war weight we'll talk about that here shortly of why i like to do it and stuff like that but i want to show you guys kind of a little bit of a progress on this base because i'm really behind on all of my accounts but that's okay, we'll catch it up. We got level 10 king, we got level 5 queen, we got uh, hogs in the lab, we got stuff going up on a Tuesday. We're just really pretty much getting the new stuff up right now, and then working towards maxing this account out. We got a lot of work to do though, guys. But, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on those notifications, and leave a like on the video, because we will be playing this account quite a bit more, and actually getting this account into war very soon. So, what we're going to be doing today, guys, like I said, is getting the expos. Look at those update packs. Ooh. Those are pretty nice. Well, we'll worry about those later. We're going to drop both Expos down today. They are 3 million gold each, and they are going to be lovely. What the Expos are going to do is they're going to give us a way to help defend. Now, yes, they do add quite a bit of war weight. That is true. However, guys, I truly believe, especially with this latest update, in defending your base. Put the Expos down. Defend your base, that way you're not getting 3 star by Town Hall 8s. It's kind of embarrassing, honestly. Don't get 3 star by Town Hall 8s. Defend, make a Town Hall 9 have to hit you, and maybe even win a defense or two. That way multiple people have to hit you, and that's why you put the Expos down, because they make it a little bit harder, especially as you level those bows up, to get 3 starred. A lot of people are like, oh my god, that's so much war weight, I hate war weight! It'll be alright, guys. I promise you, it will be fine. Before doing this, as I'm saying that, make sure you check with your clan leaders and stuff. I don't want you getting kicked out of your clan because you dropped your bows too early. Some clans are like, oh my god, you gotta go 20, 20.5. That's ridiculous. Realistically, at 10, 10 heroes, you should have your bows dropped. That's just my opinion on it. If you don't like it, too bad. That's my opinion. That's the way it goes. So we need to get a little bit more gold. We might even have some... We do not have any in Clan Castle, so we're just going to go with basic Lunian farming. Our very first upgrade was Balloons, because Lunian is so good to farm with. So we're going to do basic Lunian farming, which is really nice because of the troop discount. Uh, this army is going to be pretty cheap, guys. About 169.5 thousand Elixir, 345 gold, or 345 Dark Elixir. We also have Clan Game Rewards, however, to get that Book of Heroes... We need to use the Book of Heroes we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, if we upgrade the Queen, which I want to, don't get me wrong, uh, it's only a two and a half day upgrade. However, if we upgrade the King, it's a five day upgrade. So we get double the value if we upgrade the King and use the Book of Heroes on him. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the King and use the current Book of Heroes on him. Then we'll just one gym boost him back up. That way we can collect our clan game rewards. We're going to go Power Potion. That'll help us out as we're working on getting stuff up. I like the Builder Potions quite a bit. I'm going to go Gems. I always like to go Jill Gems right there. We'll go Builder Potion again. Book of Fighting. That'll help us finish the next upgrade instantly, which will be really awesome. Book of Heroes because we have heroes a ton. And now on the last one, I'm between Book of Everything and uh, Dark Elixir Rune. But I'm going to go Dark Elixir Rune. And let me show you guys why right after we collect these rewards. So let's go ahead, Dark Elixir Rune. Get all these lovely rewards going into our clan castle, which is going to be great. So, there we go, guys. We got that all fantastic. Now, we don't want to use that Dark Elixir rune right now because our Dark Elixir storage is not upgraded. We want to get that thing upgraded. That way we get the most value out of that rune. Let me show you guys this chart that talks about how much Dark Elixir you need at Town Hall 9. All right, guys, this is from the Clash of Clans wiki. Uh, and this talks about how much of each loot you need at each Town Hall level. And right here at Town Hall 9, we're talking Dark Elixir cost. This talks about how much you need for each upgrades and uh, all that great stuff. You actually need 1.5 million Dark Elixir for the king, 2.1, almost 2.2 million for the queen. And besides probably Town Hall 12, because Town Hall 12 is gonna have huge prices. That's the most you're going to spend on your queen. Total, you need 4.4 .4 million Dark Elixir. That's why it's so important to always farm Dark Elixir, guys. Always, whenever you are farming, oh, I need gold, I need Elixir. Look for Dark Elixir also. I always try to look for 3k Dark Elixir per raid. Just because you need so much Dark Elixir, it's very important to keep grinding that Dark Elixir. That way you don't fall behind on your heroes and stuff like that, guys. So, 
that's why it's so important to get Dark Elixir going. I mean, to some of you guys, that's going to be a no-brainer. But to me, like, you have to do it. So we will get that Dark Elixir storage upgrading a little bit later in the episode. I want to get a little bit more Elixir secured, just to be safe. I'm always wary of uh, not having enough Elixir. So let's go out and hit a raid, and then we can drop our second bow, and we can get that Dark Elixir storage going up right now. All right, guys, this raid has 3,600 Dark Elixir. And since the update dropped, uh, raids are getting a little bit tougher to find. Finding huge loot raids get a little bit harder. I think that's just because a lot of more people are playing right now, which is a good thing overall. I mean, that means the game's a little bit more healthy and doing well. But it's a bad thing for farmers because, well, it's harder for us to find loot out here. But we should be able to find you know plenty of loot that we need without issue, in my opinion. I've been finding pretty good loot all night. It, it might take you a little bit longer. Be patient. Don't, you know, rush it. You'll be fine. But here we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and get into this base. Oh, the enemy queen's going to be a problem. I can already see it happening. Balloons pathing all the way around that expo. The queen's shooting our guys. Oh, no. Queen, leave us alone. But we do have our heroes to go in. Our level 11 king, because he's lovely. And our nice little level 5 queen, who's not going to do a whole lot, let's be honest. But we get all the defenses down. We can send our heroes right in here. And hopefully work in here pretty nicely. So let's go ahead. King right there. We'll go queen there. That king... Ugh, I thought the king was going to get the queen's attention. King, go get that queen! Alright, we'll hit the king's ability to help get him through the wall. But our queen's going to go ahead and snipe out that enemy queen. Nice. And we're going to end up actually three-starring this. A little bit of a sloppy raid, but we're going to get all the dark elixir. Can't complain about that, guys. Nice, lovely little raid. Those little skellies. Get out of here, Larry! Larry! Get those Larrys out of here. Nice little raid. Tons of loot. That's exactly what we needed. We didn't quite get enough gold and elixir, but we will still be fine. So let's go ahead. We're going to hit one more raid before we drop those bows because I don't have enough gold, but we'll be right back at it soon, guys. All right, guys, here we go with a monster raid. If we can hit this one pretty well, it should be pretty set. I'm looking for that second sweeper. Oh, okay. They're right next to each other. I didn't see that. But we should be fine. All right, let's, uh, level 25 queen's going to be a pain. But let's go ahead and get at it, guys. Let's go ahead and get our balloons going. Get our lava hound in here. I'm going to try to bring the lava hound. Oh, that's not where I wanted the lava hound to go. That's all right, though. I'm going to try to bring it across the face of those defenses. But lava hound had other plans for me. Let's, uh, heal right through here. We'll get another rage right there. Haste there, haste here. Dunk on that queen! Yes, the queen went down from the balloon damage. Love when that happens. Perfect, can't argue with that. We are absolutely wrecking here, guys. That's that's exactly what we need. We need a huge loot here. Huge loot total here. And we should be able to get that. Let's go ahead and put our king and queen in here. Get them going into the base. Oh yeah, that was a lovely raid. That's exactly what we need. We're in the high gold leagues. I'm working my way back up to Crystal League. And we should be able to find tons of loot up here. And gold one, crystal three. Should be able to find good amounts of loot. Again, you might have to wait a little bit just because uh, a lot of people are playing right now. But I find so much good loot in these, these areas, guys. So definitely always recommend those. And here we go with another three star. Tons of loot. And we definitely have enough to get what we need down now. Absolutely monster of a raid there. So let's go ahead and get our defenses. Get that expo down. No point fiving here, guys. Expo going down, and let's go ahead and upgrade that Dark Elixir storage as well. There we go. So we got three out of the five builders busy going. That's always good. And then I think what we're going to do for the rest is kind of work on some of the stuff like this gold storage, Elixir storage. We can actually drop the Elixir storage and get them up because they only go up to town or level 11. And actually... We need to get these dark barracks down too, and the regular barracks, but we'll work on those a little bit later. I'll save up some uh, elixir, and we'll get those probably in the next episode or so. And then we'll start working on traps, and then start working on defenses, air defense. That air defense definitely needs to go up, but we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's uh, keep it going, guys. We've still got one more builder to go. Let's get them busy. Let's get them building. Let's get on it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and hit this base. A decent amount of loot available and 4K dark elixir. Again, guys, dark elixir is going to be so crucial always get that dark elixir so let's go ahead and get in here and we're just gonna go in on this side we don't have a lava hound oops but that'll be all right kind of an uneven drop on the balloons to be honest hopefully this works out because 
That was a really ugly balloon drop. Let's go ahead and heal this huge monster cluster. Monster cluster! If I had a band, that would be the name. Monster Cluster is coming at you tonight! That's not a very good band name, is it? Good thing I, I don't have like any rhythm, so I would never start a band. <laughs> Ugh. Poor people. That would that would just be bad if I had a band. Anyways, uh, raid's looking good. <laughs> We're getting in. Minions are doing what they're supposed to do. Balloons doing what they're supposed to do. A little bit harder without the uh, hound with you know lower level stuff, but I mean we're gonna be fine. We're gonna get the dark elixir. We're gonna get most of the regular loot, and that's all you gotta ask for really. Get the loot, get as much of it as possible, get in, get out, move on with your day. We even have a minion on the town hall, which is going to be lovely. Then we can throw that little baby queen up top here. We'll distract with that wall breaker. Wall breaker distraction! Oh yeah, that works out. Okay, that doesn't really do much, to be honest. But it, you know, takes the focus off the queen for like three seconds, maybe. Maybe two and a half seconds, something like that. Minion's doing a good job taking the king out. We get our 70%. We're going to wait for the town hall to fall because there's going to be a little bit of loot in the town hall. I think the rest of the dark elixir is actually inside the town hall. So we got to wait for that one minion <laughs> to do his minion thing. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. This is a good time to go ahead and make sure you guys know about, if you didn't see it earlier, to go buy your Clash Bashing t-shirt at teespring.com slash Clash Bashing. 100k special t-shirts on sale now for a limited edition of time. That's right, guys. Clash Bashing t-shirts. Teespring.com. Link will be in the description. They'll be on sale for the next two weeks, and that's it. Those shirts will be done. If it does pretty well, if we sell some shirts, we might do another uh, campaign with a different design. I made that design myself, by the way, if you guys didn't know, but solid little raid right there. Uh, let's go ahead. We're just going to get this last builder busy on this gold storage, and then we are going to call it a day right there, guys. Not too shabby. And actually, we'll probably use some builder potions tomorrow when I'm on farming, but... Pretty solid day here, guys. We got a lot of stuff accomplished. We got our hogs almost done in the lab. We'll talk about what we're doing after hog riders and all of that great stuff. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching. We should be streaming uh some point today, whether we already did or later. I don't know. Can't I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll figure that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on clash bashing.